Knock, knock, housekeeping calling. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. It actually hasn't been that long since I was here, but I thought today would be a great day to shoot a video. Cause you know, sometimes I just have to be in the mood. And um, I also wanted to get a lot of questions that were coming uh, from that, you know, the one, my one video has got over 400,000 views, like incredible. But there was a lot of questions that were asked on that video. So I thought, well, maybe I'll just make a video about that. Some of the questions and some of the concerns that some of you have had. And um, also I thought I would, so I'm going to talk about my castor oil, my little tips and tricks that I do for me that have worked for me. A lot of you are worried about stains and how do you use it and how do you apply it? And some of them were kind of cute. Uh, so I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to also touch on, because it's such a big thing right now, the turkey neck. I, you guys, I'm sitting in front of the window, the cam, I'm sitting here and my camera's about like that. I do have a 74 year old neck. I promise you, I do, but I do my best, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna show you the three things that I'm into that I'm doing right now. And then I'm also going to show you, I'm just looking here because I have it sitting beside me, I have my hair cut. And so because my hair was cut, I wanted to put my platinum rinse in, which I absolutely love. And it's been probably about six months since I've used it. So I'm excited to share that with you. Thanks for being here, you guys. So with that all being said, I um, just want to say hi to everybody who is visiting me for the very first time. Thank you for being here. My name is Leedy. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. That's about two and a half hours north of Seattle, Washington. And two and a half hours depends on who's driving the car and how busy it is at the border. Sometimes there's huge lineups. And... Also, I'm 74 years old. Well, officially 74 on May the 14th. So this is really good. And uh, yeah, otherwise I don't think I can tell anything, but I really hope that you will like my video. I hope you'll leave a comment and please a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. All my regular subscribers. Hi, you guys, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, my videos, I just like, I'm in awe and I'm just, I'm just so happy that, um, you know, it's like, uh, what's that song used to be? You find, what's the one that Mary Tyler Moore, like you finally made it, or I can't remember the jingle or whatever, but anyway, I'm finally making it. And it's so nice because I really feel that I feel personally at almost 74, I think I have, I have some stuff to share with you that I think is important. It's not just about this castor oil and my neck. Probably more importantly is and I hope to get into it, but I'm actually gonna think I'll do a little survey and put it out there, especially my regular subscribers. You probably know what I'm talking about. Do we, should I talk, should we talk a little bit more about why I say there is no future in your past? Believe me, I'm not saying that just the words. I'm living in an experience and Mother's Day is coming up. And a lot of you know, I didn't have a relationship with my mother. It was really, really sad. And uh, yet I, you know, she was my, my greatest teacher. And uh, she probably taught me more about love than anybody I know. So should I talk about that a little bit more? Because I, I, you know, like people come to your channel and then you think me as a creator, I'm not sure if you're coming to my channel because you want to hear about castor oil or my neck or my hair, or maybe do we want to like just get a little bit more on, you know, how do we get to age really well and really healthy? And to me, it's all about getting all your ducks in a row and getting rid of the garbage and getting stuff, getting rid of the stuff that doesn't serve us. So you let me know down in the comments if that's, you would like to see a little bit more of that. Cause now that my channel's growing, I mean, I don't want people to say, oh, I'm not interested, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay guys, what how do I start with? Well, I think I'm gonna start with the castor oil first cause that seems to be the it's a really, a lot of you are really stumped on when to use it, how to use it. Now, the first of all, there's something to take into consideration. When I share my tips and my ideas, they really work for me. First of all, I don't have a very busy schedule, okay? I, um, I'm retired, I can get up when I want, I can, um, I, I'm not 
on the clock, like a lot of you are, you know, especially the younger moms who are still raising their kids or, or like my other daughters are, you know, they've got hockey, they got racing, they got to be in five different places within an hour. And it's a little more difficult to figure out how you're going to incorporate some of these things that you want to try into your daily schedule. So first of all, that's the thing you got to figure out is like, say, if I'm going to do this, am I interested in just doing my face? Am I interested in doing my whole body? Am I just interested in really focusing on the areas like my joints that might be giving me a problem? And the important thing to remember is if it's working for me, it's not a given it's going to work for you. It's trial and error. You're going to have to just say, you know what? I'm going to give it a month. I'm going to give it a month and see what it does for me. So be patient because I still have moments, it's gone now, where I actually had a couple of zits and somebody actually told me, be patient, just work through it. And I did. So I'm really glad I did. Okay. So give yourself some time to work through it. All right. A lot of you are in awe about how do I do this at night? Well, my preference is, it doesn't always work out that way, to apply my whole body after I've had a shower. So my ideal last night, that's exactly what I did. I don't get to do it every night, but I aim for that every night. And then I do it again in the morning because I want to wash it off and start fresh. So what, and the reason I love doing it at night, first of all, when I do my evening shower, I don't do the cold shower at the end. I just dry off with like temperate water at the end. When your skin is moist, it just is so susceptible to taking that oil in. It really absorbs well into the skin. So it's something that you might want to consider. That's the other reason that you want to make sure that you really clean your face cleanse it and then apply the castor oil and if your skin is moist it'll suck it up i don't know what you guys are putting on that you're ending out with all this oil on your face i'm really not sure but you know but it's a learning process okay so that's my perfect evening thing i do that about half hour 45 minutes before i go to bed and then i just lay in my bed and i have a <laughs> Somebody said, do you walk around naked? And I wanted to say, well, it's none of your business. But <laughs> actually, I just have like a really loose gown that I put on and I'll read a book. And if I have excessive oil somewhere, I'll rub it off. Just take that off. But I, I've never had to do that, but you could. So see what will work for you. See that what, what's going to work for you the best. Sometimes... I don't put it on my whole, whole body, but I'll tell you there's a couple of places I never ever miss every single night and that is in my knees. Uh, you guys have seen, I've shown you the before and after. Here, I'll do it again. Actually, this is the most recent picture and then the same before one. I mean, it's incredible how this nine year old scar is like just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I can't believe it. It's nine, a nine year old scar, this isn't fresh. so. If you have scars, don't give up on that. Like you just gotta make sure that you stay attentive to them every day. The other thing that with the oil, some people will put it a little bit of oil in a hot, in a, in a dish and then let hot water, let it sit in hot water. And it kind of thins out the castor oil a little bit. What I like to do, cause I don't want to waste it in the jars. I'll put a few drops in my hands and I really warm it up in my hands. Really warm. And your hands are getting all the advantage of that too. I really, really warm it up. And it really thins it out. And it makes it, the heat, the oil in your hands makes it so easy to apply to your body. So if you're having problems with the stickiness, try, the, try rubbing it vigorously in your hands and then apply it to your face. And don't forget your neck and the back of your neck. Okay, I mean, you know what? I have a 74 year old neck, all right? It's gonna help. It's not gonna fix it. So keep that in mind. Now, Bill, who really needs the castor oil because he's got such 
thin skin it's like I just ordered him those sleeves you know that you can get I ordered them on Amazon so it protects you because he's golfing and sometimes just bumping the golf cart he'll get like a huge bruise or he'll bleed so I got those so it's really important that he uses the castor oil but he is not very keen on the stickiness of it so this is the cream that we normally use and it's the the oh my gosh <laughs> this is how I really can't see the set set of pill set of pill I mean there's four or five different ways of saying it this really works for him and he, we I buy it on Amazon I've had it around for a long time and so what I do is I because I usually rub like the back areas of him that he can't get and squirt plus I do it better Man, men just don't have patience for this stuff, right? So anyways, I put a few squirts in there and then I put some castor oil with it. So at least he's getting some of the castor oil, not full strength, but you can do that, right? Mix it. And that's that would be called, the term they use for that is a carrier. I really didn't know what that was at first either. So you can do that. So sometimes, not very often, but I can, every now and then I will mix my oil. Oops, that's the wrong bottle. My heritage oil and I will mix it with my renew oh, you guys I really can't I will use my renew facial oil this is the new bottle I just started my new bottle which is from peaches skincare now a lot of you are familiar with peaches skincare and actually I'm going to do a video on just my peaches skincare I know a lot of you have asked uh, what skincare I use because just because I'm using castor oil doesn't mean that I've given up on my skincare there are some things that I do every single day you know it's like don't leave home without it so I do and sometimes mix it but lots of some of you oh my gosh you guys had the most incredible suggestions rose hip um lavender oh I don't know um frankincense some incredible oils that you can mix with it so that's what the carrier is apparently aloe vera is supposed to be wonderful like if you have a sunburn aloe vera with the castor oil is supposed to be incredible for a sunburn now i'm getting off track all right so like i say with the castor oil the stickiness does not bother me and so you have to make a decision on you know what can i do to make this work for me you know it's one of those trial and error figure it out there's so many opinions out there so many people have tried so many things and i think it's like anything in life you just i don't know if you like what you're hearing then say you know what i'm going to try it otherwise not and if you really have a question of course by all means leave it down below and i can share my personal experience clear housekeeping housekeeping all right some of you said i know when i did that video it wasn't very clear i've tried four different castor oils and the winner for me was is right now i'm always open to trying different things but i'm really happy with this i went with the heritage and it's really kind of weird i actually just said to somebody i don't know if this is in my head you guys see this it seems like it's i don't know if you can see that it seems see how how it moves in this bottle it to me i think it's thinner than a lot of the oils that i've tried i love this company i did some i did you know check them out um the company's been in business since 1969 i was 19 then 1969 so i love that so they've got quite a reputation behind them and so this is what I ended up with it's in the description if you want to use the link or check it out I also want to touch base on that I know some of you were a little um oh cold press is no different than expeller press and I'm going to say I totally disagree with you because uh for these reasons if it was exactly the same none of these manufacturers would have to tell you whether it was cold pressed or expelliar pressed the reason i love the cold press because it was my what i understood from all of the reading that i've done there is less heat when it's cold pressed when there's less heat castor oil keeps far more of its incredible properties intact that's why i like to use it expeller is not bad it isn't 
There's many reasons why Expeller Press might be really great for a manufacturer to use. Apparently it's a less expensive process and they can retain more of the things they extract from the seed for other things. But anyway, I'm not a manufacturer. So I say cold press for me, okay? If you disagree, it's okay. We can agree to disagree respectfully and you can go to Google and do some more research. And when you go to Google, don't go to Google and get a person's opinion. Go to Google and you know get some science behind it. Or definitely not the company that only the company that only sells you one or the other. Find somebody that is neutral. Okay, that's my thought on that. The other thing that was a big one that everybody asks about, how do you not stain your clothes? Well, you know, some people say they experience staining. I never have. Now, I'm thinking, and I, I have left that comment on many, many people in the feed. I sometimes think that the reason that I'm not experiencing any staining is because our bedding is made of either flannel, and I have really good flannel from Germany, beautiful flannel sheets. It has never stained. I have really nice cotton sheets. It's never stained. And I also have some bamboo sheets, and they have never stained. So I don't know whether it's because these are bedding that are made from natural products that they're not, like maybe there is some oil there, but it's not staining. I just don't get out and see any stains. Mind you, I'm also not going to bed like slap. I mean, I have rubbed, I have massaged my castor oil into my skin. So that's something you're gonna have to play with. I'm thinking maybe if you have other fibers into your bedding, you may be more susceptible to your bedding staining. I really don't have the answer, but actually I found it quite interesting because a lot of people like myself uh, said the same thing, and but they all seem to have natural cotton or flannel or bamboo bedding. One gal had linen, if I can find her comment, her linen, she, beautiful linen sheet, she said, and they did stain her linen bedding but she said the castor oil being on her outweighs the staining on the linen and so she said i wash them i know they're clean but they have the stain from the castor oil so that's a personal choice so i did yeah so you know you guys just have to think about the pros and the cons all right so what else the neck all right I do have, you guys, <laughs> I do have wrinkles in my neck. I do have a chin that droops. I do have jowls. And yes, I'm sitting in front of the camera. Okay, this one is for, I just really, really got this particular comment just showed up on my phone. And so I invited Isabella to come and watch my this video and i hope she will because this was this was her comment and this was my comment back i hope i can hope you can see this anyway i can frown i have wrinkles my neck is the neck of a 74 year old woman what can i say i wasn't i i is really funny because it was just um well you know why is my integrity was challenged that's why because um, she said I wasn't being honest. So anyway, Isabella, I can frown, believe me. I don't even use those frownies. <laughs> anyway, so I did want to point that out. I've never had anything like that done. I'm too much of a chicken, you guys, come on. Not you guys, Isabella. <laughs> but I hope you'll stay, Isabella. Okay, so what else do I want to, I know, is this a long video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so my neck. I'm trying, I've, my neck exercises, I've, I've done them. I've, I've got a video on it. I will put it at the end for you. My face exercises. I think the biggest thing for me always has been the stretching of my neck. I've never, like I don't sit down and do like 20 exercises or even 10 exercises. I'm very inconsistent. I'll get in the car, I'll sit at a light and go. And people look at me and I'll go, 
Oh, we're going to give her the right away. <laughs> so I've always done some neck exercises and stretches. I'm always trying to do this, always trying to do this when I can, as long as my hands are clean. I'm always trying to do that. And about three years ago, I found this cream. I love this cream. I love this cream. Is it really, is it what's fixing my neck? I don't know. Am I having a placebo effect? Possibly. But a lot of people love it. One's empty, one's full, and this is the HSBCC neck cream, and I love it. And the same thing with this one. I squirt a little bit out. I rub my hands vigorously and warm it up, because they actually tell you to do that, and I put it on my neck. So again, I'm massaging my neck. I do that every night, every night before I go to bed. And I look at that, I'm taking my glasses off. And then, don't remember this one. I, the turkey neck <laughs> sitting by my sink. I am actually doing this. I started off doing it twice a day, but now I'm doing it at least ever, once a day. It's so easy, and I think it's I think it's helping right in here. I don't know if it's lifting anything. It's not going to hurt. And as I said, I put the castor oil on. So I've got a video on that. I'll I'll link that at the end as well. All right. So my hair, oh, you guys. So anyway, I'm trying to make a quiz, a long video, whatever. Who knows when I'm going to be back. Um, I finally went for a haircut. I went to a totally different stylist. I met this incredible lady. I saw, I went to Winners. Winners is like Marshall's home sense, but here in Canada. So anyway, I was in Winners and I saw this lady walking and I'm going, oh, Oh, I love her hair. I mean, it was style. She had a style. It was really short, but she had a style. Oh, forgive me. Okay, I have this thing. I go, I do not want that generic over 60 haircut. If you know what I'm talking about, then I don't have to explain myself. And if you go, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. It's just, I want a little bit of fun and funky. I like my hair. I, I don't, I like my face to show. I like my neck to show. And even when it's not perfect, it's okay, it's me, I'm aging. So I asked her, I said, who cut your hair? Her name's Lou, Mary Lou. Hi Lou, just in case you're watching it. It's only the one time I met her, it was in Winters. And she said that her sister cut her hair uh, out in a little town that's about 45 minutes from where I live. And she's, oh, she, my sister's fabulous, but she only works Friday. And then a cat, who is the gal that owns the salon, and she's fabulous as well. And I went, oh, okay. So anyways, that's a month, That's about a month ago. And I went, I need to cut my hair. It was just getting like, I could do nothing with it. So I went, got to cut you guys. Oh my God. So I'm sitting in the chair. She was absolutely lovely. And so I said to her, I like it short, but I want it to be a little fun and funky. I'm not looking to spike it or anything like that, you know, anything too uh, too over the top. And uh, I still want to have something that if I get really dressed up and I, I want to, you know, be able to have a real classical look, but I want to have a fun look as well. So anyway, so I says, but I like it short, but I want it to look like a little, like I don't want a pixie pixie cut like that, you know, short all over. She goes, oh, I know exactly what you want. So I said, okay, and um, great. So I sat down in the chair and she, then she's, just, she's kind of messing around with my hair. She says, oh, I did this haircut on a lady. And I can't remember if she said that morning or the day before. And it was just fabulous and she loved it. And she figured we were probably in about the same age bracket. So I went, oh, okay. The whole time she's talking to me, she's got one of those buzz cut razors in her hand. <laughs> and I'm going, yeah, okay. I said, okay let's do it but I wasn't still wasn't at that moment I wasn't sure whether that what that that big razor you know my son-in-law uses that on his head to shave all his hair off and she just had as we're talking she's pinning everything oh my gosh so she shaves you guys she shaves let's see if I can she shaves my hair can you see it so she shaves all of this. <laughs> I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna bolt out of the chair because I wasn't at that at that very moment. I didn't realize it was just going to be just here. Oh my gosh, what a difference that made! I, this falls so beautifully. 
Uh, I can push this back behind my ears if I want. It's clean, it's fun, it's funky, I think. I can make it more funky if I want. Anyway, so that's what I did. And that because I finally had my hair cut, I don't know if you noticed, I put in my L'Oreal. I've shown this before on my channel. This is the Pearl uh, Platinum. I love this. I'll link it. You can get it on Amazon. And it's not a color. It's not a permanent color. It's just a, it's, it's, um, it's a rinse, like a, like a semi-permanent rinse. And so let me give you the instructions for this. Somebody's going to ask. I just know it. Even though the instructions are on there, because I'm all gray, I leave it in for the full 15 minutes. So what I do is I jump in the shower, I wash my hair, and then I have a towel in there where I damp dry my towel. Damp dries good. I put this on, just put it in your hand, just put it in, and I leave it in for 15 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm doing my face, I'm doing my peaches polish on my face, I'm doing all the things that girls need to do in the shower, and then I rinse this out. And that's what gives me this awesome platinum -y bright, just brightens up my hair. And I absolutely love it. Okay, so that's it. So I wanna share one more little thing with you guys before I'm off. And I want you to know that the aging process is a gift and that everything in our lives, whether it is aging or the things that we do, the things that we get, um, are a mindset. What we focus on, we will get. It's a promise. You will get it. So my mindset is that I'm going to age really, really well. I'm going to have some fun doing it. I also want to tell you that every morning for about, oh, three, four minutes in the morning, I am sheer perfection. I lay in the bed and I look at my body and I go, holy moly. It's also a really good time to pick up a mirror and give it one of these and just look and say, you know what? Look at that. Do I ever look good? And then I jump out of bed and gravity just snatches everything away. So you know what? Make yourself feel better in the mornings. Look at yourself. Just give, it, give yourself a minute or two to look how beautiful you look when you're laying there. Everything is absolutely where it's supposed to be. Maybe the odd thing isn't, but it is like, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. So yeah, you know what? This girl's looking pretty good. And then get up and just say thank you. Thank you for all the great and awesome things in your life, really, you know, and be mindful about it. Anyway, guys, thank you for being here. I know it's a long video, but you know what? It's our time to chit chat. And um, I really appreciate it. I hope I answered some of your queries, some of the things that you were uh, wondering about. And um, remember, this is really important. There is no future in our past. Don't go there, let it go. Grab the wonderful memories, your biggest lessons, and aim for the moment today, right now, this moment, and then dream of your future. Take care. Bye.